guys relocating to United Kingdom or another country in uh, Europe has been made easy because of COVID-19 I think in the past two years the requirements for just relocating to Europe or UK have been a bit relaxed so if you want to relocate as an HSE practitioner you must also know that uh, in uh, UK health and safety stands alone and environment stands alone but in some cases they also have HSC combined um, which is um, not unusual so um, the health and safety executive body is the one that is uh, the regulator of workplace health and safety in retain it's an uh, executive non-departmental public body which is sponsored by the department of uh, work and pensions just like in most countries here in southern africa so you need to know the legislation uh, concerning health and safety in the united kingdom or in europe as a general or to the country that you really want to relocate because the legislation generally in europe is kind of the same it might have few aspects that are different so um, the health and safety act um, health and safety at work act of 1974 is the primary piece of legislation um, and this is also known as normally it's written in capital letters as HSWAA or HSW act or H A S A W A A. So you see, it's actually twisted my tongue, but it is equivalent to the OSH Act in South Africa, and also equivalent to the Factories and Works Act in Zimbabwe. So it mustn't be new to you if you are planning to relocate to uh, UK or countries in Europe. It means you give yourself some time like a year or six months get to know the legislation the requirements how to report you the reporting structures and uh, the organograms in um, most industries within um, the h and s aspects uh, so it's very important for you to know this but you can obviously learn about this legislation through nebosh so the first requirement uh, for you to be an OSH practitioner in the United Kingdom, you must know the general duties uh, of the, yourself as a practitioner, of the employee and the employers and members of the public as well. So the requirements is have an international diploma in occupational health and safety or a degree um, if you have a degree that you have um, acquired outside of the United Kingdom, it means you have to do verification of your qualifications with a body in the country that you want to relocate to. So, having done that, um, for you to be on the safer side, you have to have NEBOSH, either the general certificate or the international diploma in health and safety or the environment one depending on which area you want to focus yourself is focus yourself or your career in so um, then you must also know or have what is called the national uh, compliance and risk qualifications which is usually a level six or a level three is also acceptable and this is a diploma in uh, applied health and safety within the workplace and um, you must also have a relevant uh, degree or a post degree especially if you're coming from South Africa mm, um, or Southern African countries having a degree is um, very important uh, although not very very but somewhere there um, then you can also do IOSH 
When I say doing IELTS, um, I mean that you register as a member for occupational safety and health. So in this uh, body, uh, your membership status is um, the one that will give you the amount of uh, membership fee that you are supposed to pay. And the lowest can be around 198 pounds, although there might be differences here and there. And for you to join IOSH as a member, there is no examination, there is no assessment, but you must just have the NEBOSH. So the NEBOSH itself acts as your prior assessment to become a member. Then you must maintain CPD, which is continuous professional development. It means every time you have to learn, you can't stop learning because legislation changes, technology changes, and a lot of things change in the workplace. So you must just have continuous CPD. Then um, you must also make sure that um, you apply for your permits, obviously your visa. Uh, but before you do your visa, obviously you have to do your language test, which is your IELTS. And when you pass it, then you can apply for employment uh, within UK. There's so many jobs. You can look for jobs on the NAH site. Um, just search on the internet and you'll be able to find so many jobs for an uh, Ox practitioner. And as well, you can work in schools, hospitals, in the transport, energy sector, local government, telecommunications. There are a lot of places. Bye now. Make sure.